What are the benefits of understanding pricing? Welcome to CurrencyCast. My name is Augustin McKinley. I'm the Senior Financial Writer at Cantox and your host. In this week's episode, we explore the links between pricing and currency hedging. Stay tuned until the end because we'll reveal how a simple PEG framework, pricing, exposure, and goals, allows CFOs and treasurers to correctly define not only their FX goals, but the type of exposure they need to collect and process and the best hedging program for their business. Transactional FX risk, it is often argued, occurs between the moment an FX denominated transaction is agreed and the moment it is settled in cash. Now that's okay, but what if that transaction was priced well before? That's why at Cantos we have developed the notion of pricing risk. Pricing risk is the risk that between the moment an FX driven price is set and the moment a transaction is agreed, shifts in currency markets may affect budgeted profit margins. Closely related to this is the notion that pricing is itself a hedging mechanism. Why? Because you can remove pricing risk by increasing the frequency of your pricing updates. And that brings us to the subject of pricing parameters and hedging. Let us start with dynamic pricing. There is a growing list of industries where dynamic pricing is becoming the norm. Travel, chemical trading, or online advertising, entertainment, retail, and even shipping. This trend reflects the falling transaction costs made possible by the availability of real-time data and by the rise of geolocation services and payment apps. Meanwhile, algorithms strike supply and demand conditions, competitor pricing, and other variables. Two things need to be considered when it comes to dynamic pricing. A. Prices are FX-driven. That is to say, an FX rate is systematically part of the pricing formula. And B. Prices are frequently updated, thereby leveraging to the full the capacity of pricing to act as a hedging mechanism. Despite its growing popularity, dynamic pricing is not the only pricing mechanism out there. We can single out at least two other very significant pricing models. One, steady prices during an entire campaign or budget period. Some businesses like an, uh, a catalog-based online tour operator keep fixed price for an entire campaign period and set new prices at the onset of a new campaign or budget period. Things to consider here? A. Prices are FX driven, just like in dynamic pricing. B. The pricing impact of a cliff, a sharp fluctuation in currency rates in between two periods, is fully passed on to customers at the onset of a new uh, campaign or budget period. Here too, pricing acts as a hedging mechanism, but not to the extent that it does in dynamic pricing. Second, steady prices for a set of campaign or budget periods linked together. Some companies need or just desire to keep steady prices for not only a single individual campaign, but for a set of campaign or budget periods linked together. Think Netflix or Spotify. Things to note here, A. Prices are not FX driven. The FX rate plays no role in pricing. B. The pricing impact of a cliff cannot be passed on to customers at the onset of a new campaign or budget period. Here, pricing does not act as a hedging mechanism at all. The PEG framework, pricing, exposure goals, provides actionable clarity in discussions of uh, pricing and hedging in the context of cash flow hedging programs. For firms that frequently update FX-driven prices, the goal is to protect the dynamic pricing rate in all transactions. The exposure to hedge is the firm commitments for sales and or purchase orders. And the best hedging program is a micro hedging program for firm commitments. For firms that, uh, that keep steady prices for an individual campaign or budget period, the goal is to protect that campaign or budget period. The exposure to hedge is the forecasted revenues and expenditures for that particular campaign. And the best hedging program is a combination of static hedging, conditional orders, and a micro-hedging program for firm commitments. 
Finally, for firms that keep steady prices during a set of campaign or budget periods linked together, the goal is to smooth out the hedge rate over time. The exposure to hedge is a rolling forecast for a set of campaign or budget periods linked together. And the best program, uh, hedging program here is a layered hedging program. As we will see in other episodes of CurrencyCast, there are a number of additional goals and constraints like managing forward points, the degree of forecast accuracy, or the tolerance to risk. Currency management automation solutions allow you to reach all of your FX goals, whatever the pricing dynamics of your business. If you want to learn more about the impact of pricing on your hedging strategy, get in touch with our team for a free strategy session.